So in this video, I'm just going to do a quick example of simplifying a Boolean equation from the sum of products canonical form and trying to minimize this down as far as I can. Okay, so um, we've got this and we'll use uh, this as a test example in this, in this video and in another video in just a minute. Um, but we've got not A, not B, and C, or not A and B and C, or A and B and C. And right away, you might notice that there's some commonality. So I've got um, an A here. Let's see, so we've got A and C, and or not A and C, and not A and C over here. So immediately, I can go ahead and factor those out. So let's write that down. So we've got not A and C, and then we've got not B, or, and then over here, we've got not A and C, and just B. Okay, and then we still have or A, B, C. Great, okay, and now we've got not B and B, or sorry, not B or B, and so that will always be true. Well, one or the other, either not B has to be, if B is true, then this is true, or if B is false, then not B must be true, and so that must, that's always gonna be one. So we can just cross this whole thing out, and we'll end up with, not A, C, or A, B, C. Okay, now, yeah, we've, we've simplified some things, and we've, we're now down to two terms, and one of those terms only has two variables, which is better than where we started. Um, and it might seem like we're getting pretty much stuck, and we could go ahead and factor out the C here, um, but we, we still end up with two terms. Um, but if you look back to the top, you notice that we've got a B, C here, and a B, C here. And both of those could be, that those could be combined and simplified too. Um, so, so maybe there is a way to get this, this A, B, C term to be simpler if we were somehow able to combine that. But unfortunately, we already used up this term over here. Um, so one thing we can do without modifying the overall equation we can add another term here uh, that's just a copy of this one here. So let's put in not A, B, C again. And so now we'll just carry that down here and see what happens. So not A, B, C plus not A. Okay, so now we've got some stuff we could combine over here, and we'll, we'll do that in just a second. But I think it's important to underscore that just by adding another copy of one of these terms, we haven't changed the overall behavior, um, the overall result of this Boolean equation. And because anytime this is true, this will also be true. And anytime this is false, this will also be false. Um, so this is just like saying um, B or B equals B, um, but we're sort of going going backwards and actually adding terms, um, which at first seems counterintuitive, but then this is gonna let us simplify a little more. So we can, here we can factor out the BC. So we'll take, so we still have not A and C, plus we've got A here, and then we've got not A over here. And those are gonna be together and then both of those are multiplied or anded with B and C. Okay, now just like we had over here, where these cancel, A and not A are gonna cancel. That's always gonna be one. So that's just one here. And so then our final result, we have not A, C, and just B, C. Okay, and now we've succeeded in going from three terms down to two, and both of them are just two terms. And if we wanted, we could go ahead and pull the C out as well. So we have not A or B, and C. 
And this is probably as few gates as we're going to get. So we've got just an OR gate and an AND gate there, um, which is an excellent simplification going from three terms, each with three variables, down to we've only got one, one instance of each of the three variables. So we've done a pretty good job here. OK, so that's one example. Um, I encourage you to go ahead and just make up some truth tables, write down some sum and product forms or some product of sum forms, and just work through this a couple of times until you get comfortable doing it. Um, and again, the goal is not that you become super fast or that you never make mistakes, um, but just that you get used to Boolean algebra, you get used to some of the basic simplifications, and that you could do it if you had a cheat sheet with you. And once, you've, once you feel comfortable with that, uh, then go on to KMAPs and use that the intuition from Carnot maps to help you think about what's actually going on in the simplification.